Uh, what's, what's good? good? Sorry for the change in scenery. Um, we're on a little staycation right now. It's an involuntary staycation, actually. We came home the other day, and our place was covered in shit. Literally. Literal shit. The toilet was just overflowing shit water everywhere. everywhere. And my whole office is fucked up, and a bunch of my shit got destroyed. Uh, and now we gotta stay in a hotel because they gotta like rip out the floors because apparently if you don't clean up the sewage water from underneath there, poop trees will grow in your living room or something. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. You'll get a lung infection. So until then, we're just kind of, you know, nomads. People of the land. And you know what? I've been feeling pretty down about it. Both of us, Kelsey and I, have been feeling down about it. But it's okay because someone sent me this Instagram account and it's called Words of Wise Men. And I really think this is the perfect thing to, to help, you know, cheer me up. Inspiration, motivation, success. Turn on post notifications. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, will do. Turn on post notifications. There we go. Cool. Let's see what the wise men of Instagram have to say. Finding a caring wife is like searching dinosaur in a 21st century. What? I'm, I don't, I don't know what? What kind of motivational post was that? I guess he's saying it's impossible to find a caring woman, <laughs> which is first of all, not motivational. Second of all, not true. Third of all, like weirdly angry. Like I feel like the dude who runs this account just got broken up with and he's like on here and he's like too distracted by the breakup to make actual motivational posts. So he's like, I'm gonna let people know the truth. So that someone like me comes along and goes, hey, let's find an inspirational post, shall we? What do we got here? No woman will ever care for you, brother. Swallow the red pill. Hmm, okay. Uh, I'm gonna turn off post notifications. Also, I love that this dude in the background, his mood just does not match the caption at all. He looks like he's having a great time. Maybe it does match, actually. Maybe he's he's ditched his dreams of finding a, a real woman and he's just instead turned to this giant stuffed teddy bear for love. Which, that's, if he's happy, who am I to judge? I hope you two are very happy together. <laughs> it's a little joke. Fuck women, I'm dating bears from now on. Invest in ideas and business, not in people and emotions. I thought this one was kind of funny because I guess a lot of these are, are meant to inspire young business-minded people. The type of people that watch Wolf of Wall Street and are like, yeah, yeah, that guy's fucking sick. Money is fucking awesome, and that's the only thing I should care about. But what's funny about this is it's actually bad advice. Yeah, here, here's a quote from Paul Graham, founder of one of the biggest startup accelerators ever. They were the first people that invested in like Airbnb and Reddit. We've learned in the six years of doing Y Combinator to look at the founders, not the business ideas, because the earlier you invest, the more you're investing in people. Literally the opposite of what this supposed wise man is telling us. But I mean, it's on a picture of Leo DiCap from Wolf of Wall Street, the ultimate boss. So, I mean, who can you really trust? If I could do quaaludes with anyone, alive or dead, it would be fucking Leo from Wolf of Wall Street, dude. <laughs> That'd be That's shit! She's not slow at texting, she's texting someone better than you. Oh my God, what? That's so depressing. This guy, this guy, whoever runs his account is like really messed up from like whatever this girl did to him. How the fuck is this supposed to make anyone feel inspired? Hey, you know that girl you really like that, you know, things are going great, right? You went out on a good date and feeling good about things. You got that connection, you know what I mean? Well, she's texting someone much bigger and richer and better and funnier and cooler and just generally doper than you. Bigger dick too. Sorry. Hope that inspires you <laughs> to... Never talk to women ever again, I guess. Also, look at this dude. This guy's fucking hot. If he's getting curved, none of us have a shot. He's wearing a fucking wallet chain. So tight. Probably drives a motorcycle too, I bet. Also, how hot guy is it to get completely ready and then put your shirt on? This dude has got all of his jewelry on. His hair is done. He's brushing his teeth. He's checking his texts from, well, supposed texts from girls who are probably curving him, I guess. And he still doesn't have a fucking shirt on. This guy's gonna wait to the last fucking second to put his shirt on. He's gonna be, he's gonna be leaving. 
He's gonna be no. He's gonna fucking. <laughs> he's gonna put his motorcycle helmet on first, and then take like one more glance in the mirror, and then stretch his shirt over the helmet. <laughs> Being single is so relaxing. Nobody can torture your emotions. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. This is. It's funny because any any one of these by themselves, if you were to come across it on your like explore page or whatever, you'd be like. I mean, it's a little weird, but I guess maybe some people can relate. But reading these, like, in succession just tells the story of, like, some really sad, frustrated guy. Like, this could easily be written as, being single is so relaxing, you only have to worry about yourself. Right? That's a little bit more of a positive spin on things. But instead, it's, being single is so relaxing, nobody can torture your emotions. If you want to be happy in life, then you have to learn how to hide. Oh wait, there's more. Pain. What kind of message is that? Hey, you wanna be happy? You just gotta learn how to hide your sadness. Don't deal with the issues head on. No, instead, back down, bottle it up, push it deep inside you, like it was never there. And then just repeat, just keep doing that. Take the pain, take the sadness, ha squeeze it, squeeze it into you, and, and, and ignore it, and just push it down. And just do that over and over and over and over again and just keep hiding it, keep hiding it until one day you snap and you kill your whole family. Dear ex, Lamborghini is more beautiful than you. <laughs> oh, because you know what they say, as the old saying goes, the best revenge is a new Lambo. How did you not think of that, stupid? Oh my god, my girlfriend broke up with me, what do I do? Buy a Lamborghini, you fucking dunce. Or you know what, maybe it's not even... Maybe it's not even their Lambo. Maybe he's just saying, Lamborghini is more beautiful than you. Which is like, like a weird diss. Hey, you're hot, but like low key, I'm attracted to cars, so. Isn't there a word for that? Yeah, mechanophilia. Man admits to having sex with a thousand cars. There you go. He read this post and just took it way too far. Relationship? Nah, let me correct it. It's relation shit. <laughs> Dude! Who hurt you, man? Missing you is not my hobby, but now it's becoming an addiction. Oh man, now we're, I guess we're moving on to the next stage of the breakup. Like the first stage he's distraught, you know, he's like, fuck that bitch. Relationship? More like relation shit. And then he's like, whatever, I don't need that bitch. I got my Lambos. And, you know, no woman is as attractive as that finely crafted piece of machinery. And now we're at the stage where he has everything, and he's looking around like, I got no one to share it with. I miss you, Samantha. Come back to me. If missing you was a job, I'd be the richest man on earth. Boom! There's another one! This dude looks like Seth from the OC had a child with a bush baby. Are you free tomorrow? No, I'm expensive tomorrow. <laughs> Imagine actually saying this to someone. Hey man, you free tomorrow to run over everything for the presentation we have? Nope. Oh, okay, I thought you told me that you were- I'm expensive tomorrow though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what that means. I thought we were gonna go over stuff for the present. Yeah, I'll be there. Great. I love that all of these say comment yes if you agree. <laughs> like how, how can you even agree with this? You know what, fuck it. I'll, I'll throw him a yes. It does not matter who likes us, we like us. Says the group of what looks like the most annoying dudes ever. This picture kind of looks like a failed boy band. And these are the lyrics for their song that was like almost a hit. Time change, priority change, people change. Nobody stay, but one person always with you until your last breath. It's you. What the fuck is this picture, dude? Why is this Photoshop so fucking weird? That beard has to be fake, right? I'm sorry, but I gotta comment no on this one. He is a king, but when he feels hurt, he goes from being royal to gangster in 0.5 seconds. All right, these are these are getting weird. What is this picture? This looks like it came from some weird like Chippendales calendar or something. What what is this supposed to? <laughs> What is what is the story behind this picture supposed to be? Oh, hey. I was just saving this child from that burning building over there. Sorry about my shirt being open. 
It came open while I was saving this child from that burning building over there. I wish I could close it to cover my rippling 12-pack, but I can't, because I'm carrying this child that I saved from that burning building over there. And in my other hand, I have my axe, which I used to save this child from that burning building over there. Do you want to fuck? One bro's sister is another bro's sister. I mean, that's just bro code, baby. Everyone knows that. There's a prank invasion joke here, I just don't know what it is. Why I'm single, 2% because of my shyness, 3% because I don't flirt, and 95% because I respect women. And you know, that's the lesson of today's video. If you respect women, don't talk to them, don't date them, stay single forever. Have sex with your cars instead, and if you wanna be happy, bottle up your pain and just shove it down. You know, after reading these, I actually do feel a little bit better. I'm happy we did this. Let's end on this one. Um, this one, uh, tag your beard partners, it's called. I don't know, what, what is a beard partner? Beard makes man batter. Makeup makes woman better. <laughs> this dude just said man batter. Yes! It make man batter.